What mic you got? I don't know what I got. Oh, it sound good. Yeah, okay. Oh, you the superintendent. You coach it. That superintendent. <laughs> she coach it. <laughs> All right. We live? All right. There we go. Give me some light. I can't see you up here. Give me some more light. All right. Y'all ready for relationship hour? What's good? What's good? Welcome, welcome. Another edition of Relationship Hour, man, right here at Silks in Maple Heights, 21300 Libby Road. We do it every Tuesday. We have adult conversation. Each week has been phenomenal. You might cry. You're going to laugh. You're going to get mad. Everybody has what? In opinion. Life. Opinion. So I y'all to respect, even though I shouldn't use this one. Use another one. Even though, thank you. Even though you may disagree, be passionate about disagreeing. Because this is real. But we do not throw hands. This is grown folks is having a conversation. All right, because I will call Maple on you and lock you up. <laughs> All right, y'all ready for this great adult conversation? Say, oh yeah. We oh, like yeah. there we go. Everybody on Facebook, uh, big ups to you all watching, touching down with us, and uh, you can send your questions in. Coming up, uh, our good friend, um, we got comedian Rich Green will be joining us on the stage. I uh, asked, uh, she's a norm, she's she's a regular, uh, and you know she's a comedian. Uh, she's I, I call I give her she can be a pastor. Um, I'm just being real. Huh? <laughs> All of that. Everything. Uh, Keisha is like, she's fam here. So, uh, Sister Keisha will be on the panel with us today. Um, Kara, our bar, our bar manager, I asked her to come on, on here today with us. Come on, show your love. Come okay. On. So, so nobody up here experts. I don't believe okay. in that. Dr. Field, to me, is not a damn expert. Okay. <laughs> He's just been through something. And if he probably going through something right now. Does that show still come on? No. It no. do? Not the reruns, but still fresh shows? No, reruns. Hey, Y'all know who still come on TV? Jerry Springer. Mm. He the judge now, though. He, in Cincinnati, right? He's a judge in Cincinnati. Yes. I You're right, yes. yes. So they probably still doing the reruns. Yes. He went from that to being a judge in Cincinnati. Yeah. Look it up. People Judge like Springer, yep. you can't help you can't help but fall out and laugh when you go to his courtroom. I'm telling you. you get to thinking about episodes, man. Come on. All right, these questions are questions that our audience have uh, that they wrote that they put down. They want to know, and they didn't put their name on it, so we don't know who it, who it is who asked the question. We, if you want you the microphone, uh, Freddie will bring you the microphone. Um, you won't be on camera. We the only ones on camera, uh, but they will hear you. So don't say your name if you got somebody looking for you. <laughs> All right, first question. Why are men with kids okay to date, but women with kids, it's a no-go? I guess a man's supposed to answer that. Sounds like that. That's a good one. But let me hit the first part. Women, do y'all have a problem with dating? Men with kids? No. no. We get a no over there. No? For me, I would say yes. Do you have a problem with that? Personally, because I don't have any. Okay. Oh. oh yeah, that's, definite, that's, that's a real response wise. to that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Keisha? You know, I had that conversation with somebody earlier today. My brother is out of control. He has children. He's like, I don't date women with children, period. I walked in, the kid called me daddy, I walked out. <laughs> <laughs> what up, what up, bro? Yeah, I hey, call know. one plus two. You know how to get the hookah started? I did. Yeah, yeah, he wants hookah right here. So, hookah, hookah. Yeah, just call one plus two right quick. Call him, call him right now. Call him up, tell him you can get it started. <laughs> All right, thanks. All right, we back. <laughs> All right, again, so why do men with kids, 
why is it okay for them you know, to date? But, you know, when it comes to, I guess, the other way that someone said it, the drama. Ooh. You are Baby right. mamas are the worst. You're right. Is what we was just told. They got a lot of baggage. Drama. Baby mamas are making hell for you. <laughs> Baby mamas, so so anybody in, 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 in a new relationship with a guy and he says my baby mama's crazy, he's probably telling you the truth. Yes, yes. It's up to you to decide if you want to keep going. But women will play this game in order to piss off the new woman. And then as soon as she runs off, they're like, I did it, I did it, I got that woman up out of there. They'll play that game. They, they'll love to run off the other woman. They love that. Because you won't be with them. You don't want to be with them anymore. Y'all tried, it didn't work. But however way, what'd you say? Oh. <laughs> I heard something. Oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> but, but that'll happen, so you got to be careful of that. But let me say this too, so y'all know I got to hit both sides. Sometimes he can still be hitting her. Because he's still emotionally attached. Indeed. And everybody, and men love crazy coochie. I'm just being real. They like men love crazy CC. coochie. They like the CC. It's something about a crazy woman in that coochie, boy. That, it gets you crazy. You know, why I keep hitting you? And you just, you just pulled out a dog, whole damn knife. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. Y'all got some friends like that or what I'm talking about, y'all. Yeah, be right back with them the next day. Right there. Yeah. What's his name? Uh, they, what's his the name? Is it Blue? Young Blue? Oh, my God. Oh, uh, so who is it? Blue. Blue. Yes. Him and his woman going at it. Prashawn Rock, right? They she, need therapy. She in jail. He like, talking. They keep doing it. Then they come. Then they back together tomorrow. The new Ike, the new Ike and Tina. They Water. Need yeah, you call them. Yeah, that's a picture. Come on, up, Come on up. Yeah, man. So yeah, you gotta be y'all give it a Rich Green, who I was telling you is coming. Yeah, Rich Green. What's going on, y'all? Yeah. Thank you to one person that clapped. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, now two. Yeah. So we're gonna go to the next question here. Uh, man, you you know what? Anybody ever told you with them shades? You like who, cool, Modi? <laughs> All you need was a hat. Wild, wild west. Should, should a man bring this? Should a man bring the food if he wants to eat at your house? I don't know. Let's see. He should bring the food. He want to eat at my house. He got to bring the food. Who? I think he ain't independent none of my women. I, I think independent women should have food in the house. Now he want to fight. Now he want to fight. If that you I so did say that. think you about to eat bread in this house that you didn't buy, it's not going to happen. No toast, no grilled cheese, none of that. You, you wouldn't make so, so you dating a guy and he comes over, he spends the night after he bang your back out and wants some breakfast. You're not making it unless he bought it. Sam, if he did not come in there the night before with Dave's blue bag in his hand, he gets nothing. I quit. Sheesh. I quit. <laughs> wow. Wow. So what, what I just got, Rich, when you come over to Keisha's house, <laughs> you can't just have a bag. You got to have the bag of condoms, mm -hmm. a steak, eggs, mm -hmm. cereal. Mm -hmm. All of that. All of that. I'm right. Tell this nigga I'm right. All of that. She, she told me to tell y'all she's right. I, <laughs> I, I think she wrong. <laughs> That's just like. I'm not I'm coming not. back no more. You, you single, single. Ain't Thank you. you. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, single. boy, Listen, I got to bring groceries. Rich, to I'm leaving and I'm taking the condom that I use with me too. I'm going to tie it up, <laughs> put it back in the box. Get the shit out of here. Everything you came with, take it. Oh my God. You gonna charge them for air too? You now you breathing my air. You came in here. Yeah. I had a whole bunch of oxygen in my house before you got here. Mm -mm. Next question. 
Do you believe that relationships last longer when you, you know, when you keep your friends out of your business? Yes. What? Yes? Well, it depends on the friend. Whenever y'all get ready, we'll bring the mic to you. But it depends on the friend. Everybody's friend ain't messy. Some of them really feed into your relationship. They help you I, with I have your to agree with that. Some, you know what I'm saying? Some friends, some friends, they hold a seat. They, oh, not, you, ain't, you don't get a lot. You only get maybe one yeah. that hold what you talk about. Maybe. That's male and female. Because sometimes you would torture your friends with telling them stuff about your mate. And you know goddamn well you ain't about to go nowhere. And then they get pissed off because they keep seeing that person do something to you. Mm -hmm. And they already know you're going to stay, so ain't nothing they can say. And then you keep inviting us to all, all y'all stuff. Uh, and and don't, let it, don't let it be their birthday. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then you want me to sit here and be happy I'm after you told me you went upside your head. I'm telling you. That, that's everybody. the part. We don't talk about how what friends go through when they friend. Yeah. Is going through getting yeah. their ass beat or whatever, the, whatever way in the relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I'm with you. Like, um, I think it's important that you do have one friend you can confide in, uh, just in case something like that is going on. There's some domestic violence because uh, you need someone to sometimes that be stronger than you can be in order to separate you from something like that. So, I mean, telling somebody everything ain't a good thing, but hide, hiding certain things neither. I mean, this is why. This is what happened in our community. This is why you have molesters all in our family. This is why you yeah. have abusers all yeah. in our family because we keep everything in the house and we want to protect the wrong person. We need to protect our kids and we need to protect our women. We just talked about that. Get next to the table, right there. Come on. We just talked about that. Yes. Make it clap. All right. <laughs> but you also need to be able to trust this friend that you're talking to. Like, don't just tell this friend all the bad, not telling them the good, because every time they looking at them, they like, oh, well, he just went upside your head. He just, you know, threw your clothes out the window. He kicked you <laughs> out the car, made you walk home. I'm gonna look at him cock-eyed and my ass don't even cock. I'm gonna look at her like she must got the good good. He doing all this crazy stuff like this. <laughs> I, so what I just said, I just got you talking about yeah. that crazy coochie. Yeah, that crazy is the best. The crazy coochie, man. It's something that crazy. People, people gonna talk the about C -C. you regardless. What uh, they, what people don't know, they'll make up. So it don't make a difference. Yeah. All right, next question. Oh, okay. <laughs> why, why do men look at me like I'm crazy? When, the first part I get, man, you read the second part. Uh, when I say that I don't want to have sex. Why do men look at me crazy when I say I don't want to have sex? Any women ever experienced that? They, yeah, it says, uh, yeah, they don't want to have sex. Why do men look at me crazy when I say I don't want to have sex? Mean, but you got to tell them why you don't want to have sex at the time because there's no need to talk if y'all ain't going to ever have sex. We, we talk to do that, men and women. So stop trying to act like men are the only one who want to have sex. Women want to have sex just as much as men do. But maybe they saying like right away. Like so when I first meet you, uh -huh. I'm not about to have sex with you. Some, right. Some and people do look at you like you Some crazy. people do though now. Some people some do. Some people do Sam some people. Some people do. Some people, men and women, they want to do it that night. And they don't make them bad people. That person is celibate. Or they just don't want to give it up. Yeah, just say you celibate, but you get but you cannot just say I'm not happy. you gotta say why. Yeah, yeah. you gotta say that. And if they look at you crazy, they just looking like, damn, really, you ain't having sex? That's not, that's not a, really a crazy look because that's, a, that's a normal what people do is they have sex. So it's not, not you're not crazy. It just it looks a little strange. Oh, give her the mic. Give, 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 let's pass give this mic. The mic. Pass the mic. Thank you. There you go. Say, bring it on. Leave it out. Leave the sex part out. I mean, why we just can't be friends and not? And because, always, go ahead, go ahead, Rich. Hit it. Everybody want to have mm -hmm. it. You don't have because to. Because that's called marriage and y'all just met, so. <laughs> right. There you go. The, 
The sex normally don't stop till after right. you give the red and ring. I'm just saying. Y'all yeah, jump into the marriage already. I mean, like, goodness gracious. Can we have a honeymoon first, please? Okay, what are okay, you saying, so young lady? Why, why is it so hard for a man to believe that a woman is celibate? And why do you look at him so strange? I don't think it, 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 celibate. Depends, it depends on the man. Because if you, if, in the maturity of, of the person, you know, some men are okay with you saying that. Oh, okay, all right. Then you got, got to say, okay, I hear you, but I'm still going to try to hit it. Then you got some guys that say, I'm not going to even waste my time. Yes, yes, yes. So I just think it, 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 if it's, it's, up to, it's up to you, you say that. Now, you saying why we can't be friends? Well, when you meet the guy, say, I ain't looking, I'm not looking for anything but a friend. Yes. That's what you got to say. Because when people meet, they meeting to do all that stuff. We don't want to you look at somebody, damn, she look good. He look good. Yeah. You think about the sex. Then, then you think about put out the way and you say, well, let me get to, a mature person said, well, let me get to know this person. Yeah. Some people just say, I got I to gotta try to get that. It just depends on where you are in life, I would say. You all agree? I agree. Or, this, or the situation? I think it's on the guy and what he's looking for with that person. If you looking to just have sex, then that's probably why he was looking at you crazy, because he like, oh, what? But if he was looking to actually get to know to that. you. Which is nine times out of ten, they're looking to have sex. Somebody been scorned up here. I'm just... <laughs> I ain't going to say no names. I'm just... It's the person sitting next to the ball head guy. That's, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Hilarious. All right. You know? Give them the mic, give them the mic. What's your name, brother? They from Columbus, so give it up Columbus, oh, Ohio. Columbus, see, bus. Columbus, Ohio is with us tonight. Yeah. So, so to the point of, you know, it's always 100% men that want to have sex. I mean, it's both. We are just obvious when we want to have sex. Women um, will do it in a different way, but we all want to do it. I think that one of the things is, is respecting boundaries, um, and we don't do that on both ends. And so when we on because if we got to talk about it, we got to talk about everything. And so respecting boundaries, that's one thing. And just being honest, like if that's what the dude is going to really come in for. Because sometimes that person really wants to do that. They just don't want to, you know, they don't want to do it with the first person. So I think just respecting boundaries, but most important, just be honest and be transparent right out the way. You know what I mean? So that's, that's yeah. what I think. But you we, know we what? We got another comment. People, people don't like to be honest. That's, that's the problem. Because they're afraid. Yeah. They're afraid on how they'll be judged about them being honest. Yeah. Take the mic. There you go. How do you be celibate and you have kids? Oh, okay. What are you selling a bit? Let me answer that. You, not, let I me mean, answer how, that, how Sam. How does that work? Let me answer that, Sam. I'm listening. Go ahead. I got this one. <laughs> I've been pregnant eight times. I have a bunch, <laughs> a bunch of kids at home. I am so celibate, okay? Sometimes I sell a little bit. Sometimes I keep it to myself. Huh? But no, I'm, I'm just, that's just a comedian in me. But seriously, I haven't had sex in five years. I don't, I don't, I, I don't care nothing about it anymore. I, I, it didn't do nothing for me, but give me eight damn kids. <laughs> ain't paid none of the bills. It did nothing for me. It did nothing for me. It did nothing for me. I want some dollars. Next you want question. some dollars? Next question. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Again, she gonna make you laugh. She gonna, she definitely gonna do that. I like that though. That's real though. No, but I think again, again, I think it's it's uh, people people live these fake lives and fake, and they have fake moments. That's the problem. I mean, you, you explained it best. Men and women want to have sex. Let's stop playing. Men and women, not all, I'm putting categories, some have one night stands. Yeah, yeah, and get married. Some have gotten married. I get married. Some people have gotten married. They yeah. met here and they, yeah. they got my kids. They went on about their. But everybody can't do that. And you can't judge him, you can't judge her because of what they did. 
It's about what you believe in and what you want to do. And if it's something that you don't want, just say, hey, I pass. You know. Anyway, mama, anyway. That's where the true love yes, come sir. in at. It's not about sex. Every you man in really here is like, person. you women speak for yourselves. Like if you've been speak married for yourself. 60 years, you're just sitting on a couch. That, that's, that's why right. you have an 80-year-old man out here with a 20-year-old baby mama. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, this, this is a funny one. Next, y'all ready for the next question? Oh, yeah, oh yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Why can men cheat? We got to have some more men come. So y'all can write is, questions we, about women. These women always be more women here. Why can men cheat, but he's not called a whore? If a woman cheats, she's a whore. That is so From true. Babylon. That is so true. Yeah. But they are whores. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Give her the Microphone. mic, please. So, so everybody can hear on Facebook. Teach. Please, go ahead. If you allow yourself to not use that same standard, that's on you. That's not on that man. But at the end of the day, as it relates to society, we all know we call him dogs. We call him he's a this, he's a that. But yes, we do say that. We do say that for men who are all over the place impregnating women and things like that. We do that. So yes, they are whores to us. And I will tell some of my friends, that's not who you want to be with because he's a whore. So we do that. So we do now say there are some men that are nasty, low down, dirty, and that's not somebody you want to be with. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yes, I yes. keep trying to tell y'all, people don't ever want to, don't ever want to believe it or accept it. Y'all got to stop this division of negativity and only putting it on, on women. It's equal. You a hoe, he a hoe. Y'all hoes. I'm just saying. So, 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 so look, I'm going to mess y'all up on this one. You have heterosexual hoes, you have lesbian hoes, you have gay hoes. Then you get pronoun hoes. <laughs> a hoe is just a damn hoe. A hoe is a hoe. And you a hoe don't go to, to uh, oh, is it, it only goes to women? No. Go, go, anybody who did it. <laughs> the only hoes I like is Jose Cuervo, <laughs> Reposato, <laughs> and Añejo. Yeah. Oh, hey, no, hey, no. Uh, we hey, no. we need your rich. Your rich is Long Island. He, he, yeah, so you need a that, that way word way. don't belong to, to women. Thank you. Anybody who falls under the word hoe, you a hoe. Do we need to explain what a hoe is? Explain it, please. A lot of people don't do, know do what a whore is. But a hoe is different from a whore. What's the difference? Oh, a whore, she get Somebody paid. get paid. Yes, yeah, a whore yes, gets paid. Yes. A whore get paid, a hoe scared yeah. to ask for her money. <laughs> yes, yes, break it down. Huh? All right, what's a bust down then? That's a young person. Yeah, that's a young person. Down? I have no idea. <laughs> I guess that's a new hoe. That's a huh? new hoe? That's that, a that, was, that was in the early 2000s, oh. okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought, I thought, a right. bopper. Right. Okay. A floozy. A trollop, a, a trap, a skank. So, something that's always Muskrat. ran through. <laughs> that's my word, scallywag. All right. Now, this question, this question was not in here. This is, a, this is something that was in the news. Can I bring something that was in the news? And if you're in the area, you can pull on up. You're watching us, 21300 Libby Road. Grown Folks Conversation. Get your tacos, tequila. We get all that good stuff for you. Uh, come and hang out with us. So, what do y'all describe? How do y'all... Look at this. Welcome, guys. How do how do y'all what do you, what comes to your mind when y'all see what happened in the news on Friday? Did y'all see what happened at the baseball game? When they uh, with the cotton? What happened, Sam? Not that one. I'll come back to that one too. Oh, okay. A couple in California. What's up, bro? A couple in California at an Oakland A's game. Y'all know how like. One section is empty up top. Yeah. They was caught. 
by another fan on the other side of the stadium. She was giving him fellatio Sunday afternoon. Wow. At the game. Some exciting shit. Sam, that make me th That camera's, uh, that's how it is. I'm glad there were no cameras now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These phones catch Captain. everything now. All right. By that woman so, in so let me ask y'all the question. You heard me. Well, listen, because we don't know. They could have been a couple. We don't know. Okay, but what, was that a that's what was that a was that a whole move? That was a or whole was move, that a, just a spot? Some people like to get the thrill of getting caught. No. It was spontaneous. No. They was way up there. No. 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 Was nobody over there? The New game was that boring. Skybox, huh? That's in the news. Look it up on your phone. Yeah, the game was televised. Get, get, give him the mic. Get, give him the mic. Give him the mic. Hold on, give him the mic. No, 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 no. What'd you say? Some things just happen like that. I mean, who wouldn't like that being done? If a guy could do it. Bring, bring the mic closer. If, a, if mic. a guy could do a woman, would you? Would it? Would, is it acceptable to you? Would you enjoy that? You you would enjoy it. So any is there any woman? So what he's asking is there a woman in here that would love the thrill of your man giving you palatial at a Cleveland Browns game or the Guardians game, way up top, coat over his head in the corner. And a coat. That is. Coat over the top. No, ain't sir. No, ain't well, it wasn't no coat over their head, though. It wasn't. This is a hot. Not they head. His head. And his head. Everything head. that's oh, no, going no, no, no. on. He just down there getting it. No, that's some disrespectful shit is what it is. Bring, bring the microphone You're up. You're disrespecting yourself. Come on. You're disrespecting yourself. Taking your clothes off down there for thirds and thousands of she people. Probably, she ain't taking her clothes off. She got, she got a skirt on with no, with no undergarments on. You know I ain't having it. And so he just get, he just getting to it. Now. now no. Yeah, so Who? I'm a, uh, go, go ahead, go ahead. Somebody would. Yes, go, go ahead, respond on this one. Okay, so I kind of understand what he's saying. I'm all about spontaneity. However, it's a televised game, and if my child saw that, I would be very upset. Yep. So Thank you. So you have to know your audience, and you have to know what repercussions can come about. Because yeah. they just had the same thing, a couple on the miracle round. I they heard about they, that. On America they Round. But they children, got locked up. These children saw them doing this. And if it's a parent, you would be yeah. very upset. So spontaneity, yeah. spontaneity is great, but you have to know, you know, the repercussions. Well, I understand what he's saying on some spice up the shit, okay? If you want to spice it up, go to the roof of your own house. Just fuck on top of the roof. So, 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 but you know? so neighbors can see you, though. You should, you know, you got... I bet the neighbors know my name. Remember that song? But it's some things that these kids could be showing you while you thinking they. Well, I don't want to goddamn kids, kids show me nothing. I want to. Okay. See, but but okay. Let's remove the place or the baseball place right now. I'm about to say some ignorant stuff right now. Is some of the stuff that these people decide to do? are some of the reasons why some people do what they do that are in relationships. Hello. Sam, that's a new definition of skybox. No, some people are. I mean, for real. I ain't saying you got to do that at the game. It's not what I'm saying. But some things that, that as we transition to the next question, are some things that why men and women do some things that they do because the other side, they're freaking them, that he or she don't do. You, hey, let me get another, need another mic. Come on. You, you pray up. I don't think that it necessarily is a right or wrong answer to what they did. You got to do what works for you in your situation. <laughs> now, if your partner, if your partner get down like that, you, you know who you're dealing with. So if you can't satisfy your partner, I think that's a lot of times where it comes like, well, if you can't satisfy people somebody else to do your job for you. 
That's the way I At think. the baseball game, dog. At baseball, a game, football, though. Wherever, wherever, I, wherever listen, it happens. Well, it, 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 if I was to do something like that at a game, I probably met her at the game. I know, right? <laughs> if I was to go to the Lord's You ain't going to be my main line. No, do no, no because I'm not talking about being caught because you at the game, it's going to be on TV. Somebody might. And we, hell, you don't even have to be on TV. That was a local game. It wasn't a national game. It wasn't seen everywhere. Well, see, but we, somebody we called it and made it national off their phone. What you got? You got to really look at the state of their mind. What if they have been drunk? What if they've been drinking at the game and all of a sudden they just wanted to do what they did because they were not functioning correctly, so to speak? So you just do what you do because when you get drunk, from my understanding, a lot of people do different things. Like I'm drunk right now. Nobody better okay. not put their dick in my mouth. Okay. But, but if that couple is used to doing that, but, but if that couple, but if that couple, if that couple is used to doing that, then, but if that couple is used to doing that, then it wouldn't matter where they are because that's what they do. I know. I can't. <laughs> hey, Keith, we put okay. you on our next show coming. Hey, hey, Rich, you got it. I, I, think, I think it's safe to say that she was not at that baseball game. I'm just going to say. But you know what? Like she said, people be, you know, they out of their mind. She just wanted to blow his mind, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Right. But you notice who been acquired yeah. this in this whole thing. Me <laughs> and you. Because <laughs> I, I feel like if you're going to do something like that, you need to spend some more money. Indeed. Not the general seats. You need the box seats. The box seats. Like right up front. Uh, or loads. Oh, right right the there by the dugout. <laughs> Oh, they wasn't in the private seats. What if you had tickets right. right behind first base? Those are very expensive seats. <laughs> Lots All right, I want to I want to come off of sex right now. Okay, let's go. I want to come off of sex, but I'm gonna still stay in the baseball park. So, you all saw the uh, video of the little league team. They oh, had the toys, yeah. the little league baseball players. Yes, yes, yes. So they had these whatever toys they had. Teddy bears. It was, it was okay. It was they right. It was teddy away, bears. Yeah. So they broke it open. It was tan. You know, kids tan it up, and they began to take the cotton that was in there mm -hmm. out and put it on one of their teammates who was black on his head. The only black one on the team. The, the, the only, only black kid on the team. The only but black in kid. baseball, that's how it is. You only is only one Negro, or no, no more than two. If you're good. I'm play in the <laughs> so listen, this is a good question. I want us to talk about it. Let's talk about it. It was 13. So my question is to you, and y'all get ready to pass the mic around. Do you believe, I'll start with you guys first. Do you believe that the kids knew the racial, it was, it was, it was a racial, it didn't make sense, it was... It was. Do you do you believe that all the kids on that team knew what they were doing was intentional? Okay. Oh, wait, Sam. You gotta let them know that the coach said it wasn't. All right, I'm gonna get to that part. The coach and the black parent of that child said it was not. That it was no ill will. Now, the parent need now, to ask what. I have a kid, a son that plays baseball. Uh, had that would have been me. I just would have went over there and said, what the hell y'all doing? Mm -hmm. Get up. We don't do that. Mm -hmm. Left it like that, right? Because I'm not going to just let that happen. I know what that is. This is me talking. But some kids may not. I'm about to put the scenario out. Some of them kids are innocent to doing stupid stuff. Because I see the kids, basketball, baseball, I've been doing this for They be doing stupid, dumb ass stuff in the dugout. When they should be playing, they they head in the game. But also, let me add this: You ever had your kid listening to you while you was in there doing some ignorant ass jokes that you had no business doing, yeah. and they probably heard you? So maybe they can exercise it on Tuesday, right. uh -huh. or when opportunity comes. Uh -huh. I don't. I'm not saying that either way, but I just. I'm just. I want to make sure I just lay it out there so we all can think. Because we are instantly quick to point out, because of what's going on today, we instantly, we, 
quickly thinking, oh, yeah, that's just racist. And we also don't pay attention because the one thing I, I'm, I don't want to get all, all the way off subject. I hate when I, we always say black, blacks killing blacks. That, that's one thing. So I want to make sure. Y'all see what I'm saying? I want to put that out there real quick. We act like white people don't kill white people every damn day. So I just want to put that out there real fast. But let's go around the table. How do you all feel about that video? If you see, anybody see the video other than me? I saw it. Thank you. you. Saw, saw, all right, let's go with my brother over here. What do you think? Uh, it was intentional? That I kids have, didn't know? I have something that's similar to that because my son plays soccer. So guy stood up and said, get the color kid. Somebody check the color kid. I got upset. Madison police is on me. Okay, I'm going to say this. That's different. Color is, is no. You was correct about that. Madison that that's not no, that's not too. no, I have to, that's, that's taught, that is definitely taught behavior. We all know that it was colored as signs that colored people right here, white people over there. So no, no, you was right. But again, kids do things and they can be innocent. Like they do. Like, so I'm going to move the racial side out. It's going to be too deep. Because y'all don't want to hear me. I'd be, I be real. You ever had to get your nieces and nephews because they was doing shit that, that wasn't right? They was trying to play house with their cousins? Indeed, yes. You didn't teach them that, did you? No. A sin nature hit them. And they. And I don't mean that's just, I don't know, saying they ain't got nothing to do with it. No, I'm just saying about some things they do that's just stupid. I had a guy, uh, we laughed about it. He pissed in my closet, so I pissed in it too. Dang. We were kids. And I go over to his house, I pissed in his closet. And his mama beat my, beat my ass. She called my mama. like, you know this little Negro was over here pissing in the damn closet. What are they pissing in the goddamn closet for? That's just for? boys. That's just boys. See, that's why I brought that out of you. So were they just kids? And we are looking at it because it was white? I don't know. I'm just trying know, to. because in school. Panel, hit this now. Come on, hit it. I don't know. Because you know, to some magnitude, you know that that's not right. You, you learn about slavery in school. You know that. You know about slavery. Uh, you know, I, I got. We do. You do. Right. They don't teach that no they more. Teach that that, okay. They don't allow that. Okay, but Sam, you said at home they hear people talk. They heard they white parents. Talk. God, shut the fuck up, Keisha. Damn word. I ain't saying nothing, Sam. I ain't saying nothing about this situation. I ain't on the panel. Next. <laughs> she went through she she every emotion in that one, this yeah. you boy. <laughs> you are entertaining. You entertaining me. No, um, I think some of the kids knew and some of them didn't. Sometimes we just partake in things and we might not know the underlying meaning of it. But sometimes uh, as adults, I think that we get too hypersensitive about stuff like that. Kids are playing, they're having fun, and they were putting something in their friend's head. Until we know what the context of that was and what the words were happening uh, on that field, it's not up to us to make that decision for those kids. Because we look at things through our perspective. We got years of experience. That's just like when our kids first fall in love and we tell them, oh, you got a broken heart, you'll get over it. You can't do that to that child because that's the first time that's happened to them. That's a monumental thing for them. So this, these little kids playing, sometimes they don't understand the importance of, of what they're doing or the disrespect that might have went on or why it might have hurt their friend. But Let's take this as a lesson and keep moving on. But I don't think as adults that we should blow this out of proportion. Now, I know if you know me, that sounds crazy, but I don't really think we should blow this one out of proportion. I want to blow I don't. something up. As, as we pass the balloon around, let, let me add this too, though. I totally agree with you, but let me also add, I blow that's up. when black folk can't get too damn comfortable, think that you, you in and you don't want to educate white folk on stuff. I want to blow and, something hold up. Hold on, let me finish though. But you do it, you do it in excellence. And you do it, you do it in a way to say, you know, hey, hey, this is why we, I feel, I felt about that. The kids was innocent. First thing I said, Rich, they was innocent. They was innocent. They, they, Cause your, your kid done some shit that a neighbor say, 
Oh, he got that because that's the way he, he get from his parents. Let's remove race from it. But that ain't the case. They just did something stupid, and you got to go in there and check them. You got to go in there and teach them. But I think it's when we talk about the different things between different races, this is when it becomes a teaching moment to say, hey, they didn't mean nothing by it. Tell you why that's inappropriate. Because if there was your son sitting there, me, you'd be sitting there hollering about hey, it ain't the kid's hey, fault. It ain't the kid's fault. No, I, well, I had that situation. <laughs> No, I had that situation happen with my son. Yeah, me and you have been like, me and we, hey, 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 hey. Mm -hmm. Check that shit out. What y'all doing over there? God, we don't play with no goddamn cotton. Hey, had, Junior, come I here. Had, had Junior, come here, boy. Am I right? Yeah. Let me teach you something, boy. You don't let nobody put no damn cotton in your head, boy. Right. He don't know right. about right. the cotton That's you right. did, because that ain't his era. He don't know that. Some of these kids, all they know is Martin Luther King one time a year. They don't know nothing about the story. That's all they teach. But you can see the discomfort on his face. We don't teach. We don't. You can see that. Like That's we supposed right. to. Right. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. He Columbus. never. Yes. yes. So. Sam. Sam. This child. This child never lifted his head up. He had his head down. He had a horrible expression on his face. Like, why are they doing this to me? Let me take some. I'd have clothesline all the kids. I'm sorry. So here. So the, go, thing, go ahead, go so ahead, the thing is, I mean, and that's cool too, but the reality is, is I think what you said is when we're teaching our kids, first of all, we got to teach our kids how to address certain things. And that's including the, you know, the individuals, like for him, he probably didn't know how to actually address that he didn't like what was going on. And probably more importantly, let's talk about ESPN because they really shouldn't have took the shot. They should have moved away from Will you come up, repeat that again because they didn't have to. Because really, as soon as, what they do is, if there's a fight, if somebody runs on the field, if you watch sports, they normally will turn away from it. Yeah. So it, it's a deeper conversation. Come on and so preach. Yeah, because they were enjoying really it going too. Instead of going to the kids, I mean, because the kids are going to do what they see, but that's also, if we see somebody out here, we see some young kids, and they like, yeah, nigga this and there, nigga that, and we get mad. But they heard it somewhere. And, and, and we can't sit here and act like, if we see twerking now, well, that's too much. Well, we didn't see twerking the way it was long time ago, but if you heard Bootsy Collins, guess what? People was doing the same stuff. You were still getting it in, you were still smoking weed, you were still doing all of those things. It just looked different. And so I think that for the kids, I think that if we start to teach them how to actually speak up and say, you know what, nah, you can't do that and here's why. Then if they turn around and say colored or whatever, now you can address it. But it's kind of hard to do it that way when ESPN kept looking. They, they, and, they and but not only did they take the shot, they said out of their own mouths, oh, that's just being right. kids so just that, being kids. So that could have that been shut down. So on that on the yeah. top level, I think that's another way. So 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 let, let, let me let me rewind. Let me let me play how, how he just broke it down. For those of y'all don't understand. Like we got the cameras at, the cameras on automatic here. But when it's ESPN, it's the news. There's a director that sits in the back. He tell he can't a shot or she catches a shot they say let's go to camera two live now camera three get ready that's how they that's how they do so he hit it on the head it even, it's not even the kids what happened was somebody saw a moment and that's the person who need to be suspended the person who called the shot of what they caught is a person that need to be held accountable. Unless he was black. I'm Unless show he was this black, shit. he don't need to be suspended. He was exposing racism was exposing in Little racism. League baseball. He really was. <laughs> no, he, really was. he, was, he hard, was one of those. Hard-hitting journalism. He was a black white boy who wanted to fit in. That's what he was. Sam, do you think that? It was Brian Gumbel Jr. Even, even, I'm going to give it to her next. Even the, the commentator who made, who said what he said, his ass was caught off guard. Yeah, he, he was like, oh, that was just little leaguers being little leaguers. Yeah, he better say something, because they had it on the children. You sure he time. said leaguers and then Ian? Yeah, that's <laughs> right. let's, let's go to my sister. Little here. leaguers let's, being little leaguers there. Well, so. Everybody thought he said niggers, but go ahead. My question is, did the young black man, the young boy, did he know about what that meant? 
No. And see, what my no. thing is is the fact that if he understood what the cotton meant, then his feelings probably was hurting, right. and he probably was feeling a certain kind of way. So if he understood it, then that's what the point is. It was all about him and not about what they did, but what they did to him. So if he didn't understand that, then that's a different story. But if he understood what that cotton meant, it went somewhere else. I'm, I'm gonna be real, I'm gonna mess all y'all up. Black folks took it too damn far. It, I'm a, I'm, I'm a, y'all, y'all gonna be mad at me? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. did. Yeah, we did. Because we see, we see stuff with us every damn day and we give a damn excuse. We were looking for something to just to talk about because the same people that was talking about it are not going to do anything to fix a damn situation. Don't fix it was it. just, I'm an internet person, let me say something. They took off on them. No comment. That's what it was. They didn't, it wasn't no racial. Next it question. It was that they took off on them. They took off on them. That's what they did. Oh, this is the next question. Y'all ready for the next question? I'm ready for it. Let's go. All right. And we almost done. We almost done. We got about uh, 20 more minutes. This next question. Woo. Y'all ready for this one? Uh, y'all re- I need I need a cup of water for this one. Uh, give give, give uh, Rich another Long Island. <laughs> you going to oh, regret man. that one. <laughs> And, uh, hey, can I put an order in for some, uh, let me get uh, two beef uh, tacos, two shrimp tacos. Y'all this hear food, that? Y'all should come this down. This food been looking get, good, get, moving get back and forth. And I wouldn't even hold it. I've been seeing that. I got, I got plate envy, been watching uh, when the waitress walk by. Like, ooh, they look good. Y'all should come down here and eat. Y'all gain 30 pounds. Y'all got to get that Cajun chicken pasta. Oh, uh, Mama said, come on with the question. Oh, she excited. I told, I told you she was going to Now, remember, y'all, I don't see none of this before we go live. I see it while I'm sitting here with you. Here's a question. When you're a man or woman cheat with the same sex, do you stay or leave after you catch them in the act? What the fuck? Join. What the fuck? Was this multiple this multiple choice? Join. I come in my my woman sleeping with another woman. <laughs> right. I'm like, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> this is Hold a beautiful on, let me, thing. Let me make, let me make sure what now. Let me, let, me, let me read it now. I don't want no, I don't want y'all. Get my, I didn't get a chance to stretch before I came home, but uh, uh. What if it's two men? No, Why you no, did doing you this? did you hear what I said? Two men. Did you hear, that's what they said. Why Rich? would I want to join two men? That's what they just said. Wait, what's the question? Wait. Is that what I read? What's the question? Is that what I read? You said your mate. He said. If your mate. Mate. Wait, wait, M-A-T-E. Wait, 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 stop, stop, stop. Let me read it back read again. Read it again, Sam. When your man or woman cheat. With the same sex. With the same sex. Boom. Period. Stop. Right. Did they make a new that sex? Mean if your that man means a man and man and a woman and woman. Is that what right. they talking about? That's what it about? means. That's what it means. Is that You're what right. they asking? Right. That's what it means. So if I come home, not, not that she's there with with uh, hold on, no, it is. So if she's there with a woman, he said he gonna I'm hit jumping a in. He gonna hit right. a bow. That's what, what he said. Hell? Is that what that is that? Oh, how I'm, do you interpret this? I'm coming question? in like I missed my invitation. I'm well, let me <laughs> just ask the question to how y'all taking it. Excuse me. If you walk in and your man is having in sex with, with a man, man, right, right, that's what I took from it. If you walk in and your woman is, is having sex with a woman, yes, cheat. Hold on, get the mic. Come on, get the mic. We'll let my sister get the mic. Get her mic. When we start talking about leaving, we become emotional. If you are very real with yourself, you start looking at, okay, so if this nigga was with another nigga, right. but I got these bills, I got these kids, I got this, I got that, and as a Fuck fact, him and that no, nigga. No, but no. I'm sorry. No, no. I'm Women sorry. Women will say that, people will say that, but if people are honest, people have been cheated on, and people do not turn and walk out the door. Baby, if uh uh-uh, uh, if if Eric if it was another no, 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 woman, no. Yes. listen to me. 
If Eric Benet can cheat on Halle Berry at the time she was the most beautiful woman in the world, we can all be. But he wasn't with no man. I miss y'all no, 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 But he no, wasn't with no man. Do, Who said people? Halle was the most beautiful no. woman in the world? I know that's no, right. No, no, no. No, no, back when... Yeah, women no, who no. work in the post office look no, better than no, Halle Berry. No, 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 back when her and Eric when they were get together. I know what you're talking yeah. about, though. But no, what you I'm saying is... is but no, no I'm, I'm just simply you. saying is, is that sitting here, we'll go, oh, I would leave, I would leave. But at the end of the day, people... Until it happens to you listen, is what you're saying. I understand what you're saying, but it's took it... It's, you take it up a notch if it's a man. I want to be him and he's fucking another man. It's time to go. What'd you say, Mama? And I walk in there, he with another man, it's time for me to go. 49 years. And if, 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 now listen, mama, would you reconsider it, it, let me finish. I ain't talking about a man right now. If he was hitting a woman three doors down from you, would you, would you consider staying? Would you think about it twice? If he was hitting a neighbor three doors down from you, would you consider it? You ain't okay. standing for him cheating at all. Uh, Y'all okay. ain't being realistic. I, I'm going to tell you this. As far as the same sex, I can see why a woman would want to get away from a man that sleep with another man. I'm sorry if I'm offending anybody that's watching this, but when you talk about our culture, that's just like the ultimate betrayal for our women. It's already hard for our women. Everything they got to compete from, from uh, you know, texture, skin that's color, right. That's right. Uh, colorism, hate, everything. Now I got to go up against a man. How can I compete with that? You know what that's I mean? Right. Why do you right. think they're getting BBLs? Why do you think they're wearing hair lot, weeds? Why do y'all think they're doing all this? And now I got to worry about a penis? But if I walk in and my woman with another woman, I'm like, excuse me, scoot over. This, this, this that's marriage right. has gotten interesting. Where you find her? Yeah, shoot. Where you find her? I could have brought somebody if this was the case. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. That's my chauvinistic side. I don't think most men... Oh, come wait, on. wait, wait. Come on, Doc. Brothers, what you got? brothers, would you, would you break up with your woman if she, you found out she slept with another Stop, woman? Stop, because you already know the answer. Let's go to no, work. We don't Let's know the work. answer. Let's, Let's find out. Let's go to out. work. So this is my They're not dominant like me. My personal opinion is I think it's different from different sides. My personal opinion. I think that if a woman catch her dude sleep with another dude, she should bounce. Period. Yeah. But I think Agreed. it's a double standard because if I catch my woman sleeping with another woman, I'm trying to figure Party. out how I can participate. <laughs> now... <laughs> Oh, right, right. Party. As a party. I know. Right. Bring a damn nigga in my house. What's wrong right. with you? I right. worked for her. She fine as hell. Who was that? What took you so long to bring this hoe home? <laughs> I you worked for told a me. local law enforcement agency around this area, right? So, a lot of times, getting calls out coming into these um, same-sex situation relationships, it's always violent, domestic violence situations, right? A lot of times. This newer generation, when they catch their boyfriend sleeping with another dude, they not leaving. They trying to buddy was, buddy was, with I was, them. I was, I was, they, they, on. They're making the gay guys best friends, making them uh, sisters and all type of other crap. You you, you have this. I, I hate to bring I hate to bring this up. I hate to bring this part up. Speak on it. But I bring on, on, on. You keep the mic for a minute. <laughs> you hit on the head. This young generation, they look different. And even in, even in the church, that's the part I don't want to bring up. You have women who know that they guy is bi. And when he gets caught, they have taken, they have taken up for him. That's what they do. They, they take, and, and that's what, so that generation is a little different. With the, so they, they, they allow both. They don't do what y'all just said. That generation is like, that's what he do, and this is what I do. Well, oh, I don't do it, but I'm willing to accept that. Because you don't have to be, the word down low should be done with. In fact, I think that it should be twice a year that you can announce when you come out publicly, because I get sick and tired of these people talking about, just come on out, Some we already knew you was gay, we still love you. I think What's we wrong were, with you? We were just all come shocked. On out. We were all shocked when Tevin Campbell came what? out gay this week. Yeah. We, we were all surprised. No one knew. I mean, really, Tevin? No one knew at all. You're so manly. And he was so serious about it. He said, I'm just back fine. then, I, nobody I, I, be gay. I never listened to Can We Talk Again. 
Nobody. Yeah. Do you care? But do you care? Right, right, right. Do you, right. Do you still love her? Do you still like her? That's all that matters. Well, well if, you, if you don't. I like her. You don't care. It doesn't bother you like that. You do not. The cheating part, I think that's the part. There you go. That's the part. That's because because if, she, if she does that to the woman she with, it's going to be a problem. I just said earlier, if you a hoe, you a hoe, you a hoe, you a hoe. You a cheat, you a cheat, you a cheat. No matter what side of the, the, the they used to say back in the old school, you, you bet on. Huh? <laughs> okay, Sam, I, I just had a thought. What up, bro? Okay, so you had two brothers that just openly admitted that they wouldn't be too upset if they one man was cheat with a man. I mean, I'm sorry, with another woman. We just want to join in. Ladies, I got a question. If you finally decided to give your man a threesome for his birthday, and he brought another man home. <laughs> what would you do? <laughs> Flip the fuck out. You already know they bringing a yeah. woman home. Stop playing. Uh, he going to hit your bunk hole. Stop he going to hit your bunk hole. <laughs> he already know yeah, they a... bringing a woman home. Boy, I love black people. No, man. <laughs> Come on. Everybody it's uncomfortable in here right. like a bug. It's too hard for men to, to sleep with each to other. Y'all... It's easy for women to sleep with each other. Stop playing. Okay, playin'. all right, since we there. And y'all got to give me some more questions. That's why I keep throwing my own topics in. Everything got to be about sex. Oh, yeah. But since y'all were there, uh, the next question is, what's the difference between love and lust? What is the difference between love and lust? Yeah, y'all want me to hit that? Well, Sam, Who let me do it hit first, first because you always on. hit it last and you get right, it right. You. you get it right because right. you a professional. I'm not a professional. I'm going to say some professional shit. Relationship. I know, I know. That shit will go wrong I'm tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> some shit like, I'm a... You should have to love yourself before you can love anybody else. Mama, you got to know what love on, is. Mama, tell them. You most definitely got to know what love is because lust is just lust. If you don't know what love is, then you just totally fucked because that way lust, you don't know what love or lust, lust is. Lust to have you by yourself and getting off. Humping the fuck out that pillow. <laughs> pillow baby, pillow baby. Especially pillow. when you shut the store down for five years. Uh. Pillow talk. What I'm gonna do with shut up, Sam. I'm gonna put on my show. She say right. pillow shut talk. Shut up, Sam. <laughs> you, yeah, we don't want, she gonna be on one of the She gotta do at least. Shut up, Sam. Time. Pillow talk. New meaning to Pluto. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes. I told y'all we, before we started. Like I, re, I, I gave y'all her rundown. Oh, he aggravated. So y'all should be y'all should be okay pillow right talk. there. Pillow All right. Talk. New meaning to Pluto. So yeah, man, that 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 lust, and and I'm glad some someone asked the question. Lust will get you messed up. You would think you really like that person, and it's really lust. And let me, let me dive into the spirit of lust. Because lust is a spirit. It is. So what happens is sometimes y'all get attracted to one another. It gets, it gets to controlling you. And y'all know I always kind of go back. Lust took over the couple that was at, even though they can love each other, because you can be in love and you can still, lust can take over. So they were at the baseball game, enjoying the game, and yeah, lust yeah. took over their love. Yeah, it did, Sam. It, it, it did. did. But the it spirit, did, though. But it did, this, though. No, 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 no. It did, though. It you did. can do the nastiest, freakiest, low-down, horse ass thing with the person that you love them. And you love them. Let's stop. Let's, y'all want me to go down and listen to ask y'all questions? Because I'll do it. You right. So man. you gotta understand what I'm saying. You didn't, the person you love, y'all done did some stuff you would never tell nobody y'all did. Am I right or wrong? That's nope. because nobody that's because gone. lust allowed it, love covered it. I'm just the love between you and that person and the respect you have for them covered it. You didn't went over there off of, off the beach and got some head. Okay, Sam, but you, you... You didn't win in the bathroom and did some stuff. Right, you didn't win, did some... You ashamed to say, but, but you're going to cover her. You're going to cover him. One, you got respect. But Two, because some, you love the person. Right. But going back to I'm talking about lust, they at the base. They at the baseball game, and you know goddamn well somebody going to see you. But Can anybody and lust took over but, of them... But, but, 
Okay, okay. But somebody sometimes, Google but sometimes loves. Sometimes there's. <laughs> can somebody go Google ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Let, let's but speak. But sometimes there's just lust and not love. You're correct. Boom. Can somebody Google You're 1,000. Sometimes some, you're 1,000. That lust spirit take over, and then you, you allowed it to take over. But I'm, the other part, what I brought on that love part, goes like the stuff that you didn't get caught on that you and he or she know what y'all did. That was a great question. Does that make sense? Can somebody Google lust? Tell but, me what but, lust means. But lust is. Can you tell me what lust means? Go ahead. It's almost like you're you kind of saying like lust is like one of those things that. You, Bring the mic up, bro. It's what like you, you saying it like it's one of those things that's, that, that's like uh, unspeakable. Lust is, a beautiful, lust is a beautiful thing. Lust is one of the seven deadly sins. It's things. a beautiful thing. When you it meet ain't someone, anyone who met someone, you, it's lust. It's lust. You're right. I can imagine myself being with you and us doing this. You know what I mean? But And then the love thing is thereafter. Well, yes, now yes. that I've got to this, I like who you are, and I'm willing to take it a step further. And we and we engage, and we, and we, we, we grow up. Bro, all you did was answer what I just said. He hit it on the head. He hit it on the head. Can somebody tell me what lust means? I he, he hit it because, because see, that's the thing that and I'm so glad he said that. He confirmed what I said. Yo, when you met, when you saw him or her, what drew, what drew you? It wasn't because you you didn't lust. know you don't know shit about that person. Lust. It was the flesh. It was the lust. Ooh, wait, that that drew y'all. On, on the flesh side, now on the spiritual side, y'all still got to get to know and identify that. It could, it can be, it can be that, but we are flesh right here. Until you identify your spirit man or woman, and most people don't know that part. Very strong. On the spot like very, that. They, okay, most people okay, don't. Sam, Sam. Yeah, uh -oh, Keisha, hit I know, it. I know, what sex, I know what lust means. Very very sexual desire. He Googled it yeah, for me. Let yeah. me tell you something. Let me tell you something. The Bible said, Come on. That's one of the Come back seven and say it. The Bible sins. said. Let me tell y'all something. Very sexual desire is one of the seven deadly sins. I don't want nothing to do with love. I want to take love. All right, look. Hey, you Sam, want love, but hey, you in the flesh. Can I keep it 100? I agree with the Bible says, but you are in the flesh. Oh, can I keep it 100, though? See this. You got to get in the start, spirit. But see, when you start yeah, that, that getting into that, takes growth. When you start rich. getting into that, uh, I, I think we're not realistic with things sometimes as in our human condition. We we have animal attraction just like anything else, and we try to rise above it, and we try to use our intellect to say we above one thing. But keep this in mind: women don't fall in love with weak men, and the reason why it's not attractive because you don't feel safe. A woman won't stay in a relationship where she doesn't feel financially safe or physically safe. Let's keep it 100. That's so that, that's, the, that's, the, that's the animal instinct in us. As a man, a man, we can't get aroused unless we're physically attracted to a woman. That's Say what causes again. arousal, that's for real. That's but then we want to start having that conversation. A woman cannot be attracted to a man that she can, she can run. So lust is a component of love. They're one and the same. You don't know you love that person until you get over the lust side. No, no, just, no, 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 hear me, hear me, hear me out. The conversation, the time you spend, that's when you fall in love with that person. Because you can say the wrong thing to a woman and turn her off immediately. So you have to start having those conversations. But it is an animal attraction that we have in the beginning. You could put all this stuff out. I'm telling you this right now. And I said this on another podcast. Men fall in love with what they can see. Women fall in love with what they can hear. That's why men tell lies and women wear makeup. So and you talking about that dream that. I had last night, even though I'm celibate for five Who years? Who won't respond? All right. Who won't respond? When you think so about lust, if you really go back to it, <laughs> lust is a very, one of the most basic instincts that a human or a living thing can have. So when you look at animals, lions don't get together because I love you and I want to have this long lasting relationship. I have a desire deep inside of me and I want to satisfy <laughs> There you go. And it's gonna hurt. And it's Fair gonna hurt. Fair when we start talking That's what about it when we start talking about love and, and love, lions don't they have sex in less time than we do. Yes, they this, do. Uh, they do. 
Some yes, of they us. Do. And but it hurts. <laughs> All night long. Y'all been no, a whole bunch of lions. I ain't had sex in, in, in 10 seconds. Men do that sometimes. I was but excited. When you look at lust, <laughs> and if you actually put love in the same sentence, there's no comparison. There's no, that's there's right, baby no girl. Comparison. That's right. What lust? You are responding to a biological. Come on, girl. Impulse. Talk. Come Did on. I not just say that? Didn't I Teach. say once no, you no, start no, conversing? No, 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 but you said that I'm lust for comes first, and then after that comes love. There are times that when we hook up with somebody, I'm not trying to love you. I'm lusting after you. Once we're done, I'm going to say so goodbye. So what are you saying different it. than what I said? She said goodnight. Rewind the tape. <laughs> she said goodnight. <laughs> Rewind the tape. He wanted, my brother wanted to respond. No, 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 give it, give it, no, you, you got to have I'm the mic. I'm with you, man. Give the mic, give the mic, give the mic, give the mic. Because you could, you could be in love with someone, right? Bring the mic you, closer. When you're bro. lusting for someone, you could be in love, you could be married 10, 25 years. It's always going to be that one situation that you have with that. It could have been a one night stand, right? Uh -huh. And it could have been the greatest moment of your life. And you're going to always you remember it. And it was oh. lustful. Right? Yeah. But you're married and you're in love. So it's ain't nothing wrong with lust. There's nothing it's wrong with It's one of the seven deadly sins. I don't want to die. There's nothing wrong with we try to make it look like it's, it's a terrible Something thing. Something is wrong I agree. with lust. I don't want to die. It's a, it's a beautiful I, thing. I, I agree. Don't scream at that. I'm going to tell you. No, no, anything that is no, real about talk. love started no, real talk, out of though. lust. Listen to my man. I agree with him. How many it, women have stayed in relationships with men that you, you actually don't desire that man at all, but exactly. he pro he provides, he, he protects, got a couple dollars. he does everything but yeah. turn you on. You go to work and your work husband, he just hit all the buttons on you. But you, uh, women are more loyal, so they don't overstep their bounds. But it's a lot of people who don't lust after the man that they with anymore. Y'all, y'all not being real with y'all selves. No, you're I, right. Uh, Listen, you don't I'm, lust I, after him. It's mad. the money. It's the money, bro. No, it's not the money. It's it security. Is. You still love a person. You can Money love your friend. Money is not a seven Ooh, deadly women, sin. Lust how, many, how many men have y'all put in the friend zone? Y'all love him to death. He say everything. He do everything right. He buy flowers. You wish you had a man like him. And that motherfucker love the shit out you, but you don't see him sexually, so you never get him the time of day. And then what end up happening is true. He, go he, he gets head life. at the baseball and game. Now, and now y'all see him <laughs> traveling all over at the baseball game. That's what happens. That's what I was trying to say earlier. Yo, Sam, what you don't want to do? Yes. You like, why would he yo, do yo. that? Sam, I you right. You right. Then the right. jumbo, the jumbo cam come by. You like, I'm just saying, keep it 100, y'all. Like we get it mixed up. Many the man who loves you the most, you put him in the friend zone. I'm telling you, it's a man right now. Are you married? Okay, so you might have married your best friend, but I'm telling you, it's women out here that say, I'm looking for a man, and it's a man out there that love the shit out you. And people be like, well, why ain't y'all together? Oh, I just don't like him like that. That man will treat you better than any man you ever met in your entire life. But no, it ain't, but it's, it's, see, it goes back down to attraction. Y'all don't be some keeping women, it real. Some women do, listen, Y'all don't keep it real. Bro, Look, all y'all watching. Do that. Some women do that. All y'all watching, y'all need to come. all women do that. Not all, I understand. They smoke a hookah me, back there. But not all women do that. Some women do. Because, I mean, you know, I had somebody like 99 years old. I mean, what the fuck I'm supposed to do with him but take his money? Ain't nothing you can do with your penis. Don't get hard. I mean, what the fuck? Well, you don't want to have sex anyway, so that's a perfect Bam! situation. Perfect match. That's what I'm trying to tell but, you. But you that's see. That's what I'm trying to tell you. But look. But, but I don't mistreat him either, though. Mm. I don't mistreat him. Are you and Methuselah together now? You just tell me that. <laughs> I am with him. Man, we, I ain't got to sleep didn't. with him. <laughs> We didn't mess up Columbus. Columbus, we didn't mess Columbus up tonight. Columbus. They, they I know, they like, ooh. Columbus in what, the house. What did you bring me into? <laughs> Columbus, hey, baby. Y'all been having a good time thank tonight, you. though. Come on. Yeah. Thank you. All right. We want to thank everybody for watching. And we're going to fellowship and hang out with each other. I can keep going, but I, I got to get Jeremiah to school in the morning. Wait, Sam. Uh, <laughs> So, so, and I got to do a radio show, two in the morning. Yeah. But yes. we still here. We got tacos. We about to play some music. We about to get it in. We do it every Tuesday. Oh, that's right. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's a nice, that's a nice one. You, that is you beautiful. Made that one? Yeah. This is the big, th look, this comedy show here, and you can zoom in on it. This comedy show here going to be crazy.
C. Brown is coming on the 3rd and the 4th of yeah. September, Labor Day weekend, right here. Yeah. Tickets are going fast. Get them. Rich Green will be hosting the joint. Who's the other guy? The real John King. Oh, John. I know John. He's funny as hell. Yeah, man. That's so anyway, we, we, John King. John King. So Steve. we're bringing, we're bringing comedians right here to this city, Maple Heights, Ohio. It's free parking. All right. And we bring in funny people. Funny people. I would not bring nobody in. Huh? Hold it up. You got it, he got it now? I would not bring nobody in if they're not funny. If you ain't pissing on now, yourself, you ain't coming. I'm going to say this. I normally, I normally don't, don't do stuff like this. But we're bringing comedians into Maple Heights, Ohio. Yes, that you can see downtown. And it's free parking. Free parking. And now I'm going to say, Rich, can I just be Sam? Okay, man, be Sam. We bringing in these comedians from across the country here at least twice a month. We did it during the pandemic. And we're going to continue to do it. But we need y'all to buy the tickets. I'm just 1,000. Sam, I'm going to buy all the money. Hold on, Keisha, let me finish. Stop talking all this black stuff. And then when the black folks show up to do it, you still, and I have, I have no, no, no nothing against anyone. But don't come tell me about that. And these comedians, we got to pay to bring them in. And stop degrading them, saying $10, shame on you, talking about you love black folks and why black folks can't get together. Well, the tickets are 10 to $15 for some of them. But then you pay the improv yes. $25, and you pay the part. Rich, I said it. Well, be careful. I got to perform at the improv next no, month. Don't, don't you? Don't, don't no. get scared. No, no, I made the improv a lot scared. of money. Don't get scared. And I'm going to still support the improv. Tell them. To almost. But, but that's the thing, though. No, that's a joke, but we're afraid to step out of our comfort zone. Continue to support the improv, even though they might be mad at Sam. Continue to support them. But you said it, Mama. But stop this black stuff, and then when black folks come and they mess up and they have a mistake, then you can't support them. White people never say, I tried to give a white business a chance. Only black people do that. Asians never say, I tried to give Asians a chance. Oh, God. Let, I'm going to say this before we go. Cut the tape. I'm, ty I'm tired of holding back. I'm sick of y'all sitting up here talking this black excellence and you ain't excellent. You're going to yeah. make a mistake. Now, let me say this. Stop going to work for companies in black neighborhoods and you can't be excellent for black people. But then you take a job for them and you do everything they tell you to. Oh, my God. So a black business, I'm going to teach y'all tonight. I'm teaching. This ain't got nothing to do with Sam Silk, this has got to do with every black business owner I hear from. So stop coming to work for a black business and not giving a black business what you would give another business that don't look like in your community. Stop leaving your community. I hate when y'all say this. I went out to Chagrin at McDonald's. They so great. How come you can't be great at the McDonald's in your neighborhood? Give good service all the time. And stop putting things of mistakes or things that happen on black people. Because black people make mistakes, white people make mistakes, Asians make mistakes, Latino make mistakes. You show me the, if y'all really want to be on black power, then go, then go, to, it, go to Little Italy and open up something to sell to them. Go to an all-white neighborhood and say I'm a black-owned business. And show me something. What we have to do is teach our kids how to serve, how to be great to each other and love one another. That's what it goes down to. Y'all need to share this part of my video. Because the word black to black people is negative. Black people look at black as bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tried to give my black people a chance. Nigga, take yourself over there 
to them white folks and move, put your house over there, go work for them. Go work to the Asians, go work to whoever. That's too real, I gave it to y'all raw. Hey, guess what, white people? Sam, love oh, you. Oh, God. Because I'm a, I, I love everybody. Oh, God, but I'm teaching my people right now. Stop this, because y'all don't do that, we do. That's too real. And people don't like real teaching. They don't like real teaching. We are excellent. We are, we are wonderfully made. Stop, stop sitting up in church shouting on it on Sunday. You don't live it during the seven days a week. Stop this mess. Build up your community. Support these people. And parents, train your kids. Going back to what we was talking about with the cotton and the baseball. Train your kids so they can make your community look to be what it is. Stop this stuff. A division of your own people. Sam, we ain't gonna have no more white fans. Why you doing this? That, you say what? That's Sam Mountain oh, oh, oh. Silk. My white folk, I can that listen, I got white folks I can talk to like this, and they tell me the same thing. A white person told me since we there, somebody make this go viral. Viral. Why do y'all say I tried to give black? I don't never tell my people I try to give us a chance. You know why? Because that enslavement is in your DNA, and we need to get it out of us. Yes, yes, yes. We all are God's people. Yeah, yeah. We all are. Guess what? White people. Or uh, whoever race have the same problems in some sense that we do. And we act like they don't. They do. They do. Stop this old racial thing. We keep up the race. That's why I said about the black kids the, and black people with the whole cotton thing is that we made a racial moment about it. I'm here to tell y'all a lot of white folks, they didn't get that. They wasn't on no racial. They didn't get it. Because our enslavement, we stayed where we were back then. Hey. We, thank you, man. Thank you. You sitting over here doing all that. Come on, get him the mic. He's might get him the mic. We gotta stop that. <laughs> look, look, we went from relationship hour until the truth hour. And we did, we went to relationship and truth hour because relationship hour I'm waiting for the collection for plate. <laughs> listen, we, listen, let me tell y'all something, and then we gone. We have to set ourselves free. Yes, yes. We know the word of God. Yes. We know the truth. But are we willing to stand up to it? Are we willing to answer to it? I answer, answer up to it, man. I answer to it, Sam. I think a lot of us are. Y'all, hey Sam, can I plug something real quick? He said shut up the technology off, yeah. Yeah. He said we have too many distractions. If y'all can't hear, I'm interpreting it right now. Yeah. Hey, Freddie, give him the mic, please. Because Facebook need to hear what he got to say. Every. Yeah. Everything can't be about twerking and sex that make us want to talk. That's why I cut it off earlier. Yeah. Mind your business. When we came over to stay in your lane, mind your business, man, that destroyed our community, man. That destroyed us completely, you know? There's nothing that you see that reflects us. I mean, Sam, yeah, you here. I yeah, think DTLR is, is, is black mm -hmm. owned. I think DTLR is black owned, from what I understand. But when you look around us, what do you see? And we, we constantly support all these other people in our neighborhoods. I remember back in the day when you chose a councilman to run or whatever, he actually made sure that we didn't have these things in our neighborhood. All these different shops, like we got Korean shops, they selling uh, our products to us. Yeah. 
this is our stuff, and they, they selling man. it to us. I mean, we, we, we look so silly these days, man. We, 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 we beyond that silly. We got, we, we not a part of, we don't have no interest in, we have no stock in, but we constantly buy it. And you, and how do you not own any form of stock and you're buying all this garbage? You don't have no stock in it. You have nothing in it, but you constantly Teach. buy it. And you, you, you go out here, you spend your money for it, and you actually look for these people to teach your kids something about themselves. They don't know nothing about themselves. So how do you expect them to know if you're not teaching them? You have to teach them something. If you're not spending time with your kids, how do you expect your kids to yeah. know anything? They don't know anything about themselves. You ask your kids, what do they know about anything about their culture and where they came from? They don't. They don't know nothing. Let, let's get the mic over, over to this table. Go ahead, y'all. One of the things is that right now, many of us are sitting here. There is a mass movement to remove anything about the accomplishments of African Americans. You can talk about critical race theory. You can talk about all that stuff. Now, teachers, I'm an educator. Teachers are having to submit to the school what books they have in their classrooms. If that book is not approved by the quote unquote powers that be, it can't be in your classroom. But you know whose fault that is? That's our fault. Because we don't go to council meetings. We don't go to school board. We don't go to school board meetings. So all this stuff, you're seeing it on CNN and all that, oh wow, that's really bad. But what do we do about it in our own communities? Prime example, you were talking about supporting people. We will go to races and things like that for other folks and other causes. I'm a coordinator for a race for African American men. I went around this city and we tried to educate as many people as we could about what it was that we were doing. You know what everybody started telling me? Oh, that's too early in the morning. Oh, I, I, I mm -mm, no. But the thing of it is, is that there was a time that people pride themselves on being great race folks, great race men. Now, because we've assimilated, everybody check out Chenoa Achebe's Things Fall Apart. As we try to gravitate more towards being American, we are losing ourselves, and we lose those things. How are we all sitting here today? We came from strong communities. And guess what? There was no street club back on the slave plantation when we were taught, you need to carry this and do something for your people. Now we're trying to be like everybody else, and we've lost that. You know, we've you said, lost it. You said you're an educator. If you think yes. about it, like, when we talk about um, school books, Anybody ever heard of the Daughters of the Confederacy? Y'all know what the Confederacy is, right? The Daughters of the Confederacy is who wrote all of the first school books. So all your school books came from some people who tried to overthrow the American government and keep you in slavery. So when you start really understanding what this educational system is about, you, you see why you miseducated. Now, I will say if you're from my generation, which is about, I'm 50, but let's say if you're about between the ages of uh, 40 and 65, you probably had one of the best educations as far as public education goes because you started changing the tide. That's why they took arts out of school because we started, we, we learn through rhythm. Learning is a rhythm, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. We, we started learning rhythmically. The kids were picking up. All of our kids, if you look at uh, our test scores from grade zero to grade three, we test at the genius level. But once black boys hit the fourth grade, the test scores drop dramatically. Now why is that? That's, that, that's a third, she says it's a third grade, but that's what I'm saying, right after the third grade, it dropped dramatically because they introduced something called American history. And American history, see, young black males, we get, we get disillusioned by education. We, not, we, we, we don't want to achieve after a while because all we see ourselves as, as former slaves. That's how they introduce you to history. But if you found out that math come from you, that, do you know what the Caduceus is? Anyone know what the Caduceus is? The Caduceus is that staff in the wings when you see in medicine. They say that it's Hermes or Hermes and he's the father. And when they take the Hippocratic Oath, that comes from ancient Africa, that comes from you. Mathematics come from you, science, religion, everything comes from you, the first irrigation system. If you were to know that you were the first one to create language, religion, 
arts, sciences, everything, it makes you feel too good about yourself. And it makes the people who took it away from you feel bad about themselves. That's why you have something called critical race theory right now. That's, that's a switch up game. But people, find out who your CDC is. A CDC is a community development corporation. These are the people that say, this is what could come in your neighborhood. If you, anybody from the city of Cleveland, anybody live in the city of Cleveland here? Okay, so you have several CDCs in your community. If you're on the southeast side, you have Mount Pleasant now, which is about to be dissolved, but Union Miles, you have Shad, uh, you, you have BBC, which is Burton Bell Car. So, and, and, and they're grant funded, but it's even more. They get the CDBG money, okay? The Community Development Block Grant. Now that's mo this money is given, you know what? I don't even want to go into a geopolitical conversation. That's we want a Rich Green for Alderman, Councilman. No, huh. Let's go to Columbus, Ray. Thank you, and y'all give it up. Rich broke it down. Let's go to Columbus. So, so come up here on the stage; they can see you on Facebook. Come up there. So, so one of the one of the things that's really important, and, and what I do is I work in the workforce space, um, and I work in technology. Come, come over here. You can stand over there. I want so them I work, to see you. I work you. in technology. I work in workforce, and, and, and I'm hearing all of these different things. But what we have to remember is. Those, those guys right there, they're the next ones up. Yes, sir. So the expectation is, see there's a, there's a low expectation we have for them. So we have a low expect, so we have a low expectation for them because of what they say, how they act, because it's not what we used to see, but they're very intelligent. And not to, ma not to mention even the kids that are actually breaking codes and they have never taken a technology class, those are the things that are going to come in the next 30 years. We're still talking about 60, 70 years past. We have to have those discussions, those are important. But if we do not get to the 2030 and we don't prepare the communities for 2030, you won't have to worry about gentrification. Because in a minute, you'll have all the technology and everything in your homes, in your spaces, but you will not be able to utilize it and you won't be able to move forward in your workforce space. We're not, like, we don't talk about that. We get excited about sports. If, if we go to a football game, everybody's going crazy for them. But as soon as they start acting yeah. crazy out there, yeah. nobody's saying, hey, hold up, yeah. hold yeah. up. Yeah. There's some more stuff going on. And that don't make me perfect. I'm just telling you, I'm out there in the street. So this is, this is what we do. So I, I would say that when we think about this conversation, a lot of times we're having this conversation without them. And guess what? Most of them wouldn't come to this conversation because they would feel like at some point, well, y'all don't understand it. You know, you got to know the history. You got to understand. You got to know their history. It's crazy out there right now for them. And if you want to teach them, be willing to be taught. I'm going to say it again. Be willing to be taught by you, them. You better say that. I, I say. Hey, hey, I'm a, I'll, I'll help you out. I'm going to help you out on that one for some of the old school. Remember when you told them to go back in the day, we used to turn the TV? Now you ask them to come and figure it out. <laughs> right. Now, hey, you, well, you did well with the first part of technology, but it's some different shit now. Right. And allow them to show you. I'm just bringing it out in like real now here. Allow them to show you how to turn on a TV. Right. Some of your asses can't turn on a TV. You don't know where all the apps are. I'm just being real. But, but the problem, <laughs> but the biggest part. Let of, them teach you, man. They exactly. know this. But the biggest part of that. And don't have an ego about it. Don't be, don't be an asshole about it. But the it. reason why that's important, ladies and gentlemen, and why we having this conversation is because the majority of them won't have to wait till they're 19 to start making 80000 a year. No. That's right. The jobs that we know won't be here. Ooh. Go to a grocery store. Tell them, how much, tell them how, much, how, how much these jobs right now that pay 80 would they be paying in tell you, five, four I years? I can tell you right now. You see Amazon? Amazon moved their company over here, right? People are going there. At some point, they're going to say, we're going to move to robotics and automation. If we don't start talking like that. Uh, hey, bro, they doing it already. No, White, they, White Castle's well, well, got I, robots. I got I to gotta start. I got to start. Not <laughs> remedial, but I got to be honest. Because yeah. sometimes people don't realize. We got to stop telling people, if you worked in a warehouse, you got to say, I worked in manufacturing for five years. That alone Repeat will that. change the game on how you walk into a space. It's not white or black at this point. At this point, Come it's on. really on us to talk to them, and maybe we don't know. But guess what? We have YouTube. 
But most of the people that look on YouTube, you're looking at fights, you're looking at the news. You want to change the game of the community, you got to get in it. And the way you get sure. in it is you got to know what's going on. So again, 2030, I can guarantee you, matter of fact, 2025, most of those jobs that we know are either gone, picking and packing will not be a position. But if you can use the robotics and we can get that in the community, now what we've done is we now we can compete with any neighborhood, anybody who's going after it. As a matter of fact, they said in the next six years, and this is true, you can look it up yourself, if you have an engineer degree from Ohio State, it's going to be the same height as if you got a, a, a certification in software development. Out, right out of software development, you can literally take that and get and make 80000 out the game. Because most of the things that you see, if you got your phones, they're all in the cloud. Those are the ones that are going to know how hey, to James, do it. James, you get that cloud right yet? <laughs> I was telling him about the cloud earlier. Like in a minute, think about it. When COVID happened, what happened? We had to do everything virtually. virtually. And most people struggled, and the people who struggled were mostly here. Why? Because one, cause some people don't, some black people don't want to do it because they're like, tech is not for us. Why is it not? Because guess what? Technology, if you go and look at the White House and all those different things, those were developed by us. That was technology. So I'm not perfect. I still got things to work on. But we got to start realizing it's not us that's going to move the movement. The movement is teaching them how to find their way. Hey, real quick. Curriculum is, I'm with you, curriculum is fine, but that curriculum don't mean nothing out there in the streets when they toting guns. And we, in the curriculum, hey, hey, hey. And I'm with you. I, he need a mic, he need a mic. No, he right. get him a mic. Wait, no, no, but, real but quick. hold on, hold on. Let, let me, let, hey. let, let, hold on, hold on, y'all. Let, let, no, I hear you. Hold on, hold on. Let me add to what yeah, he just ahead. said, though. Man, we got babies out here. I'm talking about three to go in the back. You up four years old? That my granddaughter can work my iPhone, my laptop better than it's, me. It's, and it's scary. But is, it, but is it necessary? Is she? But is, is it, it necessary? Is, you said is what is it necessary? necessary? I'm gonna tell you what. I'm 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 I'm, I'm gonna take it back to the root. She of making us. videos. Let, hold up. Let me let me take it back to the root go of ahead. us. Let's go back to the root of us. Yep. Remember in the day when we didn't have all this technology and all this shit? How many numbers could you remember? How many addresses could you remember? You could remember about a hundred, 150 addresses, 150 numbers. You can, oh, this is such and such number. You knew it right off the top, right? Hey, ladies, thanks for coming. Y'all had a good time. We compromised. All right. Good night, baby. All right, y'all. Be careful. Good night, ladies. Be careful out there. We compromised ourselves to their technology, which is really our technology. Exactly. Our learning, our curriculum that we're set up on, learning off of, do you know who, who actually was the inventor of it? The Rockefellers. Right. But invented what, ed our educational what I, system. What I'm saying That's who invented that shit. I don't disagree with you, but no what doubt. I'm saying is in the next 10 years, five years. They invented it for us. Our curriculum is based off of really? Rockefellers' but if understanding you, of education. That's why we have uh, a but that was degree, that was uh, fifty that degree, was that was fifty years that. ago. This I'm is, talking about right now. Right what now, I'm saying is, you got you got nineteen and twenty year olds that tote guns, but they can do tech. Because that means that they can no go doubt. get a, no no. Hear me out. They can go get a job. They don't know it. They right. don't know that they can make twenty uh, uh, literally make eighty thousand right now. There are people that look like them that are making eighty thousand that are young. They have no they have no clue because one. It's not in the community. And the more we fight it, it doesn't matter if we fight it or not. It's coming. It's already in our grocery stores. It's already here. No and most of those positions, unfortunately, we do our, our communities a disservice. It doesn't matter if you live in the suburbs or wherever. You do your community a disservice to not get in to where things are going. Later, for the fact of who the face is, you got to understand that's where most of the youth who will be in, space, in, in that space, that's where no they question. are. But you know what? I, I think the biggest part of the, part of it all is 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 uh, preservation. Hold on, you you come over here. You come over it's, here. It's, it's, so, it's, we no, need to no see doubt. each other. It's, it's, a, it's a preservation of ourselves, right? Yeah. Because yeah. at the end of the day, yeah, we can't. We're pushing all this other knowledge, right? And this understanding about different things.
but we don't even know how to simply diet and live. We don't, well, we, don't know, we don't know none of that. We don't know what we need to put in our bodies. We're not be supposed to be consuming meats, meat this, products. This drink right here, oh God. We're not, oh, most so, definitely not. <laughs> Love it, Sam. But I, I, I hear you, but guess no, what? No. It ain't going nowhere. So no, I'm with you to, on it, but we, we keep staying know. in one place. But we have to know we more say, you stay about, in one, we you have st to know more about who we are. But in you know, order, it's in more order. to us than just a, a jump shot, yeah. you know? But it's more to what? us than just running the ball. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. more to us than just and any I, of that. And I agree with you. We way bigger than that. I agree our with kids, you. Our kids, uh, listen, our kids, just think of this. Just just think of this. Just think of this. I, I have grandkids, right? Man, I know I'm smart, right? They know how to work a, a damn phone better than me. Hello? A damn phone, but man. we've been but saying that, but that all this time. But what I'm saying what, is, all right, hold on, hold on, stuff, hold on. Right? You had a night a, enough time. You but hit I, what, it, I, what, what, I'm, what I'm saying yeah. is, and, and understand this again, because this is the other problem too. A lot of times when we black, especially black men, when we get into these conversations, no it's it's good. This is good conversation, but most of the time when you see this, it turns into a fight. No, That's it's not building. It did. Now, it did. No, no, because when you out. responded, it I'm, was. I'm, I'm saying yeah, that normally when there's younger ones mm -hmm. and sometimes older, ignorant ones too, it ends up in a fight versus us having a real conversation that allows Sam for us to Maple move. Heights police. What'd you say? Say I'm going to call Maple Heights police. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell them to come and sit down too. But the reality is, you're not saying anything that's wrong, and I don't think I'm saying anything wrong. What I do no think is. We have got to get to a point where we are making sure the years are going to grow. Mm -hmm. The times are going to come. We just saw in COVID what COVID did. And what's going to happen is we can't ignore the fact that a lot of the workforce, we, when we were growing up, it was go to college, go do X, Y, and Z. Most of those individuals probably will not go to college because if you did go to college, and I was one of them, you went to college, you got debt, you didn't go to where you were supposed to go, you did everything you were supposed to do, and you still didn't get what you were supposed to get. Now, youth, there's youth that will grow up that will never have to do that, can maybe go to a community college or get a certification. They're going back to the, the days of the trade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The ones who got trades, they're not, they don't have debt. They started their own businesses. But I think the problem is a lot of times when you see individuals that want to get into technology or they're trying to do the best that they can, there's not enough individuals to jump right on that and say, hey, you know, let me tell you a little bit more. Or it's our responsibility to learn more about what's happening. Because a lot of times at our age up, they don't want to hear it. They think that technology has nothing to do with them, but technology was also, when you built, when those, when those, when slaves built those, the, the White House, that's technology. All of that was technology. Everything that we have, the first, the first open heart surgery, that it's not, it's not, it's not a, a thing. It's My not baby new. just had open you know, heart I surgery. Think, I think it just, I it think, just evolved. I get you. What, I get what you said. I think they lost their way due due to uh, lack of understanding. Right? When we when we was growing okay, up, um, we looked at the man in the suit. Real, real quick, real quick. We gonna keep talking here. It's over on Facebook. Thank y'all for watching. Appreciate y'all. Let me tell y'all, this is what we do. And this is how we move See forward. Y'all next Tuesday. I got y'all stirred up. And uh, we do it Man, again. Meet us at 6 o'clock next week, live at 7. Conversation continues. Put some music on. I got I to gotta give me some tacos. All right. Well. And I got to get Jeremiah That's ready. Well. We need all of that. No doubt, man. No, oh, no doubt, man. Yeah.